Vegas 17 News. A venom spitting cobra is on the loose in a Raleigh neighborhood. Good evening. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. This is a story a lot of folks are talking about. Police say this dangerous snake did escape from a home in the area. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith Rattana live for us tonight in that neighborhood where uh, the search is still going on for this snake. Judith. That's right, no luck yet in the search for the snake. Police actually just reopening up this road here as they were looking for it. They say they still want people to stay out of there so that because of the snake is still dangerous and because they don't want to make too much noise and spook it anymore and potentially make it harder to find. Somebody first called police about the snake saying they saw it Monday night. They thought it was a python from Australia. Turns out it's a zebra cobra snake that was somebody's pet. Now a bite from the snake can be pretty serious. It can cause near a lot problems, swelling, a hard time breathing, or even opening your eyes. And there's no anti-venom available locally. That's because it's not a native species. Now, I did speak with a herpetologist from the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. He says this is a nocturnal snake and darker in color. That's going to make it difficult and maybe unlikely to be found. He says it'll probably stay within a half mile of this area. Well, I would guess that this individual snake during the day is going to try to find some cover, uh, like rocks or logs or some other shelter where it feels safe and will hide there. Um, if it's going to be moving around, it's most likely to be moving around at night. Now, North Carolina does allow people to own venomous snakes, but they need to be in locked, bite-proof, escape-proof cages with a number of different labels. State law also requires you to have an escape recovery plan. Now, while you need a license for a pet like a dog, you don't need one for an exotic animal. The state doesn't even have a registry of owners, and it's up to each individual county to make up their own rules regarding exotic animals. Right now, venomous snakes are not banned here in Wake County. We're now live in Raleigh. Judith Ratana, CBS 17 News. As a parent and a dog parent, I would say probably watch your pets. Stay with yes. them as they go potty out back tonight. Very much so. Yeah, All right, Judith, thank stuff. you. And because the anti venom is not available at local hospitals, it would have to be shipped in from zoos or even from out of state. Generally, hospitals keep some on hand, but that is for more common species of snakes like copperheads. Dr. Charles Gerardo at Duke Hospital uh, tells us that because of this, a snake like this in the wild is more cause for concern. It can be quite serious, including all the way up to death. It can cause a lot of tissue damage. If you get the venom in the eye, it can cause blindness. And it also has some neurotoxins, which mean it can impact your ability to breathe and you know, have your muscles work and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it can be quite serious. Quite serious indeed. Now, if you do happen to see this snake, do not try to catch it yourself. Just call 911. If you have a story you'd like us to look into, give us a call at the number on your screen, 919-835-NEWS, or you can send us an email to newstips at cbs17.com.